With E3 not long finishing, I figured I would do a video on my top 10 announcements, so let's get into it. First on the list is Dragon Ball Fighter Z, a 3v3 fighting game developed by Arc System Works, the studio responsible for the Guilty Gear series. The game looks very familiar to uh, Marvel vs Capcom fans, which is a granted bonus. The visuals look stunning and the gameplay looks fun. I expect this will sell for 9, copies. Next up we have Shadow of the Colossus, remade for the PlayStation 4 to look outstandingly gorgeous. Shadow of the Colossus first released on the, on the PlayStation 2 and the game revolves around a young boy who has to defeat Colossuses. Colossi. The gameplay is unique and requires some platforming, which was pretty fun. I'm a big fan of Team Ico's games, so this will sit pretty nicely next to my HD collection on the PlayStation 3. Fire Emblem Warriors for the Nintendo Switch. I love Dynasty Warriors S games and I love Fire Emblem, so this is a nice surprise from Nintendo. Developed from the same team as Hyrule Warriors, I have pretty high hopes that they'll deliver a great game. There's no release date yet, but it's expected in quarter 3 or 4 of 2017. Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle for Nintendo Switch. Developed by Ubisoft, this turn-based crossover of randomness was a shocking announcement. I never expected to be excited for a Rabbids game, and I'm pretty excited. The Rabbids dress up as famous Mario characters after a giant vortex rips apart the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and the gang team up four Rabbids to defeat their enemies while armed with various weapons. Metroid Prime 4. That's right, Samus is back. Not being developed by Retro Studios comes Metroid Prime 4. We haven't seen a main Metroid game since, well, forever ago. <laughs> so... While well, nothing was really shown, it's in development for the Switch, so I'm excited nonetheless. Shantae, Half Genie Hero, Nintendo Switch. Having not long ago getting into the series myself, having this come to the Nintendo Switch actually puts a smile on my face, so I'm very happy on this one. It will come in HD with the DLC Risky Boots. The game has 2.5D platforming action, and we get to take on the role of Shantae's nemesis, Risky Boots. So that is definitely something to look forward to. Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. Releasing November 10th on the PlayStation 4 and PC comes a new adventure from level 5. So we play as a young king named Evan who was ousted from his position by his subject for being too nice. Joined by a leader from the real world, we help Evan become a true leader and help him find himself. Horizon Zero Dawn The Frozen Worlds DLC. So Horizon Dawn was a, was a really good game, I definitely recommend it. But uh, It was both, both visually stunning and the gameplay was fantastic. And now we're getting some DLC, so that's great news. There's no information beyond the trailer, so I, su I guess we'll expect some soon. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, a massive sci-fi RPG for the Nintendo Switch. From massive explorable worlds and towering enemies, we'll get to explore this on the Nintendo Switch coming this holiday season. So that's another great game I saw at E3, and I'm very hyped. During Nintendo's E3, a much wanted announcement was made, a core Pokemon is coming to the Switch. Big news! As a huge Pokemon game fan, uh, this had me bursting in excitement. There's no information as it's still in development, but the fact it was announced for the Switch means it deserves to be on my list. 